You could really feel it in the air yep. today. It was crisper. Yeah, you saw yeah. some leaves falling from the trees. Yeah, bears are at Safeway the trying, bears to are trying to exactly. load up on groceries for long. Maybe they're <laughs> just follow the bear for the forecast. When they start hitting the grocery that store, you know, you know, hey, it's time. Know. The snow's coming in the mountains. Get out the coats. Yeah, it's it's much cooler today. It's up to 21 degrees cooler in the Bay Area today compared to yesterday. Napa, you were close to 90. This time yesterday, mm -mm, you're barely 70 degrees, if that, right now. It's only 66 in Santa Rosa. You were close to 90 yesterday. So a big time change. The onshore flow has returned. We are foggy and cloudy at the Golden Gate, where it's currently 60 in San Francisco. The warm spot, Livermore, 75 degrees. Overnight tonight, amazingly, whatever we do during the day, we almost always hit the same spot this time of year at night, which would be the low to mid 50s. We'll do that tonight in Vallejo, 53, Redwood City, 54, and Napa, 50 degrees. Air quality certainly was an issue over the weekend with the smoke along the 680 corridor down towards Santa Clara. Less of an issue because now the smoke is being blown in the other direction. It's heading to the east, so good to moderate air quality in the forecast for the Bay Area tomorrow. Menlo Park, not that warm the next couple days. You're barely going to get out of the 60s. 71 degrees tomorrow, 71 degrees on Thursday with widespread morning and cloud cover and some afternoon sunshine. So we have a change coming. Uh, two changes. First off, we have the cooler weather which arrived this afternoon and will be with us for two days because now we have an onshore component to the wind. So we've grabbed the ocean influence once again. The ocean is sitting at 56 degrees. That's chilly, so we will be chilly, at least relative to average as well. This low right here is going to slide off to the east. The next one that goes up and over the ridge will induce more of an offshore wind. That's going to come on Friday. Now, a north wind in certain parts of the country this time of year would be cold. It's coming from Canada. For us, it's the opposite. It's an offshore wind. It's actually going to warm us up Friday and into the weekend. Widespread morning cloud cover tomorrow near the water. We will get afternoon sunshine. Even more clouds pushing even farther inland coming up on Thursday. So fog and low cloud cover, more widespread tonight will stay cooler than average for the next two days, but then the winds change again. Friday and the weekend, we will warm up once again. Fremont 71 tomorrow, San Rafael 71, 74 in Concord, 65 in San Francisco, 73. Your high in Santa Rosa, so staying cooler than average for the next two days. 60s near the water, 70s inland. The transition day is Friday, a little bit cloudier, but also warmer. And look at the weekend. There we go again, close to 90 inland and highs in the mid to upper 70s near the bay. That is your KPIX 5 forecast. We'll be right back.